Hello everybody, my name is Maria and I am the food blogger also known as Sometimes Foodie and Poison and Antidote. I have an Etsy shop and I sell at Artist Alleys, so I thought I would show you how I package my buttons. I made a previous video that showed you my pinback button machine. I have now three machines. When I record that video I only had the one, but now I have three machines. My favorite is still my original machine that does the one and a quarter inch buttons. So. This is how I package my pinback buttons. If you want to learn more about the machine that makes my pinback buttons, I'll put a link to that video down in the description below. But so what I typically do is when I sell online through my Etsy shop or I sell at conventions, I offer pinback buttons. They're one of my biggest sellers. They're really popular and they're like a small thing that they can buy from you that supports your art without breaking the bank. So it's something that's really cost effective. If customers only want to buy one or two pins, I usually have like a big board and it has all my pins on there and customers can pick and choose what they'd like. I typically sell a lot of individual buttons. I do offer packs, but individual buttons tend to sell well or people like to do the build your own packs. So what I do for that is I package them this way. It's hard with the glare, but so first I'll show you how I do this packaging. So first I have the bags. I go to clearbags.com. It's a place where a lot of other artists from Artist Alley buy their bags. So these are little two and a half by three and a half inch bags. They have like a little hang tag style thing at the top here. So you can have a hang tag. And then they're self-sealing, so they have a little strip at the bottom. So here's one of the bags. Like they're they're clear, so it's kind of hard to see on camera. But I like this size because what I do is I take one of my normal business cards, and for my personal business card design, I have two sides to it. One is just my big bold logo with just general information about what I do, that's just like kind of quick bullet points. And then the back has all my contact. So what I do is I use this as a backer card for just one or two one-off kind of buttons. And I'll slip this in there with the design facing outward. So when I hang it, it would be facing outward. You take whatever buttons they, they have picked. I usually do up to three will fit in here. So I could do like one, kind of pop it down the package, two, and then sometimes a third. So you kind of like shift them around in there so that they line up. So I do one, two, or three. Usually it's one or two. So I do those. You have that strip here on the back. You take that and you just peel it off. And then it reveals the adhesive. You fold that over on itself. And then you have a little package of buttons. And this is great. You can do like two packs. You can have them hanging. So you can just do like quick two packs. For what I do is when customers pick their own, this way it's all contained together. So if, I, if they're buying this for me, they normally already have a bag from another vendor already at this point. And this way, my pins stay together with my business cards so they know where they got them from and who's responsible for them, rather than it all floating around in a con bag. So it keeps it nice and, and compact, and it also gives them all my contact information if they want more. So that's what I do for one-offs. I do the same thing for Etsy. When they buy them this way, I package them the same way for Etsy. Then on the floor, I also sell pre-made button packs. They're very similar. So here, instead of my business card, I have backer cards. I have a few different designs I'll show you because I tend to rotate them out for the theme. These are just original pieces of art for my sketchbook. So I have my generic backer card, which matches my business card. My website's all this kind of teal with the cardboard texturing aesthetic. So this matches my general branding. It has links to my Tumblr and to Etsy. And it's another self-sealing bag. So what I do for these is I print off cards. This is a 100 pound gloss cover stock. I work at a print up so I have access to like laser printers and things like, like those so I can get my prints done. This is a space theme card. It shows up better on camera. I use these for my inner and outer senshi and space themed buttons. And these actually have little faint printed lines. You can see them also on my generic backer card. They're faint little lines. And those are where I would cut. So I would take my X-Acto knife and I would cut the little holes, follow the guides, just cut them out. These ones are already pre-cut, so it shows you it kind of creates like a little pocket there. I just take the hook back and I push it into the hole of the pocket. And then I just go to the back, I just kind of like push it with my fingers, make sure it's nice and secure. So the hook is holding it in, and then it's attached to my backer card. It's pretty secure. You can shake it around, and it stays on there pretty nicely. So what I do is I just go ahead and I cut the slits, I put the five pieces on, and then I have a little something like this. So it's just my card, all five are hooked on, they're ready to go, they're on there really good, they don't come off, 
and then I go ahead and I seal them up in another plastic bag. I don't have the sticker that came with this one any longer, but it's the same style of this. It's just larger. It's larger to fit the size of my individual backer cards. So I'll have several sets of these just out on display, hanging from this hang tag position in front of my table in the alley for sales. And then if people buy buttons online or do build your own five packs, I build them in this packaging as well to keep them all together. And the great thing about this is you have all this extra room back here. If you want, you could do double-sided printing and have more of your contact information back here, or you could just slip in a business card or any other freebies that you may have in the back as incentives for them to kind of come back or revisit your shop. And another thing I do is I print out these little kind of free treat cards. These I do on my Etsy shop only. I don't do these in person at conventions. I only do these through Etsy. So when people order something from my shop, I take these backer cards, take my X-Acto knife again, and I just cut two slits here to kind of create like a little band. So I have like a little loose band I can slip something in. And what it has as free gift is thanks them for buying from my shop. On the back, I also run a food blog. So it shows that I run a food blog, and if you're interested in food, you can visit me there. It gives them my Instagram information so that they can tag me in photos if they're posting photos of themselves of their products or showing off what they bought in hauls and things. And then it has a link to my Etsy at the bottom, as well as another little thank you for your purchase. And what I do with these is I have them all trimmed and ready to go. Like I said, I run a food blog, so I have an endless supply of candy. So right now it's summertime and Dum Dum's Lollipops released limited edition summer flavors that are only available this summer. I think they were Target exclusive and they came in a huge bag of like 250 pops. So what I do is I take the limited edition flavors, like this one has banana split. I just take it, slip it into the little holder, and now I have a little thank you with a limited edition lollipop flavor that I send out to my customers. So if they bought some buttons they would receive this and this together in a bubble mailer for my Etsy or in person for my shop they would see this and usually I have something like oops buttons or something I would just toss in their bag as like a thank you. So that is pretty much how I package my buttons currently. I'm thinking about adding like a little cardboard printout up here to try and make them pop and have a little bit more flair or maybe just designing something to go up here like more of a header which I started playing around with with my newer designs. So here I have, I did a Harley Quinn punk rock themed pack because I was going to be a punk rock themed Harley Quinn for Rutgers Camden Comic Con. So this is one of the ones I made. So I started playing around with that header idea, but instead of having it at the top, I put it at the bottom here with my contact information, like a little illustration I did. I have a space themed backer for my inner and outer senshi packs. I did this generic comic themed one for this is my Comic Con pack. It has like a little bit of everything, DC, Marvel, graphic novels. So you can kind of, it's a pretty good base and you can just customize it to whatever you need. So hopefully this was helpful to some of you that are looking for ways to package your buttons for either Artist Alley or Etsy. I look forward to doing more button related videos in the future now that my filming setup is kind of kind of situated. And hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and bye.